Hi, this is Nikhil Verma with the Wire Backbone team. This video describes how to install patch on a wire contact recorder for both Linux and Windows machine. This video is applicable for both Linux and Windows server. Also, this video is applicable for version 10.0, 10.1 and 11.0 for the ACR. All the ACR patches can be downloaded from support.awire.com. This slide describes the process to install patch on the Linux machine which is further described in the video. In the first half of the video, I will show you how to install the patch on Linux machine by first logging to the ACR web page. This needs to be done to verify what is the current patch level. You need to click on the system tab and then the license tab. This will show you that the ACR is currently running on version 10.1 with patch 101094. The process of patch installation starts with connecting to the ACR via PuTTY for shell access using the root user. Once you successfully log in, then type service CSM stop, which is the service impacting command, and stop all the services of the ACR. Please note that this needs to be done during auto office hours as this is service impacting. Once service is a stop, then we will move to step 2 by connecting to file system of the ACR using any FTP software like WinSCP which is being used in this video. Here you need to log in only using witness user as patch needs to be installed using witness user only. Once you log in to WinSCP then we need to go to the directory which is opt witness tomcat shared lib. This is the installation directory wherein the jar files of the recorder are stored. In this directory there are two files CSM main.jar and CSM rest.jar which needs to be replaced for this patch installation. You need to select these files and you need to copy these files into the backup folder on your local machine by simply dragging the files and proceeding with the process as shown in the video. Now perform step 3 by copying both the jar files from the patch folder located in the local machine back to the ACR lib directory so that these files can be replaced. This process needs to be done as shown in the video. Once files are copied successfully then you need to go to the directory opt witness tomcat web apps which has another system file named as root.var which needs to be replaced in the same manner as we did earlier by copying the file from the ACR to the backup folder and then copying the file from the patch folder to the ACR web apps directory. Successful replacement of root.var file in the web apps directory completes the step number 3. For next step, we need to go back to the shell prompt of the ACR and go to the directory opt witness tomcat shared lib. Now type ll command to list the files in the folder so that we can verify whether permissions, owners and group of the replaced files are correct or not. After replacement of csm main.jar and csm ras.jar, we can see that they have permissions read write read write read instead of default permissions read write read read. Hence we need to correct the permissions by using command chmod 644 asterisk so that we can ensure that all the files in this folder are corrected with the default permissions. Executing ll command again confirms the changes. Groups and owners of the file is another aspect which needs to be witnessed for all the system files. If any of the file is different owner or group, then only execute command chown witness colon witness asterisk or else this step can be ignored. Now we need to go to the directory opt witness tomcat web apps to verify the permissions owner and group for root.var file which we have just replaced. Once we are in the web apps directory then type command ll. As we can see that permissions for this file is incorrect hence execute command chmod 644 asterisk or file name. Chown witness colon witness asterisk command can be executed if the owner or group is incorrect or else this step can be ignored. Verify the changes you have made by using command ll which finishes the step number 4. Now that everything looks good, we can start the services by using command service csm start. 
Once services are started successfully, the next step is to go on the web page for verifying whether the patch was successfully updated or not by clicking on system and then license tab. We can see that patch is now successfully updated to 101097 which is the patch which we wanted to achieve. Second part of the video shows the process of installing patch on Windows based ECS server. Steps mentioned below are explained in the rest of the video. You need to log on as administrator on the Windows server on which ACR is installed. From the license page, we can see current patch level as 101051. Now the process of patch installation starts with stopping the services by clicking on start, run and then type services.msc. Select a wire contact recorder service here and then click on stop button on top left which will stop the service. Once services are stopped, then go to the installation directory of the ACR. Now go to directory tomcat shared lib and select the ccm main.jar and ccm rest.jar. Now move them outside the ACR installation directory and save them into the backup folder as we did in the Linux installation. Now click on the ACR lib folder so that we can go back to the Tomcat directory and proceed further. Once you are in Tomcat directory, click on web apps and again select the root.var file and move this file outside the installation directory and copy the same in the backup folder. Once the file is copied in the backup folder, then copy the root.var file from the patch folder and copy this file into the installation directory of the ECR. Now go back to the Tomcat folder so that we can move to share and lib folder. Now copy the files from the patch named as csm main.jar, csm rest.jar and move these files into the ACR installation directory which ends as step number 5. Now that files from the patch are successfully replaced, we can now start the services on the ACR. Open the services console and click on the start button on top left. Once services are started, go back to the ACR web page and log in with the user credentials. After login, click on the system and then the license tab which shows that patch 101097 is successfully installed on this ACR system. Thank you for watching this video. For any further questions or feedback, please drop an email to mentor at the .com or you can tweet at the rate wirementor on twitter.com. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.awire.com. Thank you.